Did, did that's when Block came along, started calling? Yeah. What made you decide to start doing business with him? What was it about him that you felt like? Well, okay. see, well, what it was is, you know, at that time, me and Chino, we was working and whatnot. And we was like, shit, man, we got to figure out how we're going to work this move, who we going to get with, you know what I mean? <laughs> what label we going to do to do. And uh, so by working with Nitty, JD was already kind of an option because Nitty had a deal with JD. Mm -hmm. And Nitty wanted to kind of take this deal to JD, but we was I was free agent. So... I didn't have to do nothing. Now so, you had the song at this time, though. Yeah, I yeah. paid Nitty. Right. Chino, me and Ch well, Chino paid Nitty for the beat. Mm -hmm. And so that was, it was like, shit, I'm, I'm a free agent. Yeah. You didn't give me nothing. You gave me a hit. Oh, yes, we definitely gave each other a hit. But I'm saying, you were compensated for what you asked for. So right. it ain't like, you just said, huh. He wanted you to go, J.D. way? And I just was like, I make, make the right offer. Mm -hmm. And he just wasn't coming with an offer. He was trying to get me to sign to him. And I'm like, we already our own thing. Like, we don't want to sign to you than to sign to somebody else. We not playing that game. And it wasn't a bad – I mean, I'm not going to say it wasn't – I'm not going to say it was a good deal or it was, it was a bad deal. It just wasn't the deal that we were seeking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because at the time, it just didn't sound like a good deal. But it could have been the deal that made me even bigger. Who knows? But – I was just like, man, we got to do something. And next thing you know, you know, uh, Carl Mo, my, my dude uh, Fresh, hooked me with Carl Mo. Carl po Mo put me with Block. And that's kind of how that happened. So, but, okay, but Block wasn't as big as JD at the time, correct? Hell no. Nah. Yeah, so, I'm saying, what what was it about him that make you feel like, okay, he's better to go with than Jermaine Dupri? Because I had already saw what, what happened with G's and Boys in the Hood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he had sure. he had an open line of Diddy. And I was like, shit, I, I, I would rock with Diddy. That man, no, he, but he, got, he got these people on TV. He got these people. I, this man understand how to really network. Mm -hmm. He really understand how to market. And that's what I needed. Because mm -hmm. I knew I had the personality, the charisma, and the talent. I just needed the proper... Uh, foundation, the proper springboard, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Was that a part of his sale pitch to you? Was Diddy Block? No, nah, no, nah, nah. shit, it was what it was. It, you didn't have to sell doing you already, deal with you already, Yeah, yeah you already like, kind of knew. Shit. I was yeah. like, I'm trying to get to that's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah. Yeah, that man, I ain't gonna lie when that's going down came out, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you had the whole world yeah. like yeah. this yeah. the one. Like yeah. it was a, like that was one of those singles like Oh, it, it shit out of here. Yeah, like, it changed it changed our lives instantly though. Like, yeah. Like, do you do you, do you uh, feel a certain type of way uh, when they mention like the best Atlanta rappers and you know it, we got it'll go Future, Ti, Jeezy, and they may throw Ludacris in, but Ludacris really ain't from Atlanta. Do you feel any type of way when Young Jock don't get mentioned with those names? Gucci. I don't because they have they need another category for me. Mm. They need best Atlanta entertainer. Mm, or best okay. Atlanta influencers. Right. Because I'm not just a rapper. Yeah. I didn't put my all into just rapping. A lot of those cats, they just rap. Right. They could be mega superstars. Not a lot of them just rapped. Mm. A few of them have definitely tried their hand in other things. Right. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of those cats, when you want to hear best rap, they just rap. Mm -hmm. you, like, again, you had, from Atlanta, you had a, a lot of of them who's done other things, movies to, mm -hmm. you know, you, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But for me, you're gonna have to give me another category. You can't just say rapper, because that ain't what I put all my focus and my energy into. It's more of an Think about it, I, I've, been, I've been on for, for two decades. Yeah. 10 of those decades, I've been on TV too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight of those, listen, two, listen, okay, I said it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I said it wrong. Two decades, I've been on with music. Right. One of those decades has been on television along with the music. Right. But I've also been on radio for eight years. I ain't know it's been yeah. that long. Yeah, I, see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my efforts haven't been me being a rapper for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Understand what I'm saying? That's what you're saying. <laughs> so gotcha. I don't get offended by that. I just be like, okay, cool. Well, when, when they finally figure out that this is what made Atlanta so great, because you had budding rappers right. who, who soon let the world know they were more than rappers. You got cats coming out of here. The, 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 come on, man. You got cats for real, for real. So I'm talking about can produce, yeah. can act, can do stand-up. Mm. 
It's a lot. Yeah. So, you, so, you, so, you, so you never got caught up in the uh, trying to compete with Jeezy, uh, uh, T.I., no, that, that, no, that no. throne of Atlanta? Mm -hmm. No, because yeah. I know what we glorify in Atlanta. Yeah. I know it, not just Atlanta, the South. I know what people glorify in the rap music. And I just, a lot of that stuff I didn't do. I could have kept going and kept being on with the couple grand job that's going down job. But I was just watching and I was just looking at the type of energy that came with that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, think about it. All my cohorts who may be considered greater than me, all these boys done did jail time. They done caught big cases. Yeah. They lost big amounts of money a mm -hmm. lot of times because they had to sit the fuck down. Facts. Yeah. Now let's talk about me. You, you got a point. You understand yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So it's certain sacrifices that came with that shit. And yeah. I just saw it early on. I was just like, I don't, I, I know what to do. It ain't like, just think about this, bro. It ain't like I just started dropping whack ass music. I just kind of just stopped. Yeah. I just was like, mm. That's true. I ain't yeah. even, I just, I wasn't feeling it no more. Yeah. You know, but and a lot of times with those cats, it was times I passed on being on certain records that I, I know was his, but I didn't want to glorify whatever might have been on that song. That's why I catered more to the women and I did more R&B features. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people could then look at me as, oh, he was a hit maker. Yeah. It's just like, oh, he was on some hits. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I get it when people look at it like, that, like okay, cool. I, I, mean, I don't give a damn. I've lived a great life. I'm on God. Like, even if you turn and said I was one of the best rappers, I don't care. Yeah. If it ain't if it ain't making my life no better, I don't you can have the title. Yeah. I'm still around. I'm still living. I'm still I can still take I got nine kids, dog. Ain't nobody starving. Mm. Nobody starving. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me to still be around two decades in, it's a lot of cats that ain't nowhere around me no more. I don't see them. Yeah. I yeah. see them I see them every blue moon. And you be like, yeah. oh, Damn, why well, ain't see you know, it just happened like that. But yeah. I'm still out here alive. I'm getting money and everything. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. On on that that first run like you had when you say you wanted the, that connection to Diddy, what did you feel like he brought to the table that that block that, that needed to put more spotlight on you? Was it because Bad Boy was so big at the time or again it was Diddy. He knew how to market me. He already had the relationships to open up certain doors that was gonna take some time, even having hit records. Mm. Sometimes it's just it's certain things. It's like, I give you a perfect example. It's like, Diddy saying, all right, this is how we gonna do it on the BET Awards. My first big look. We gonna, I remember we gonna, that. I'm gonna put this whole dance, we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna do it big, like a bad boy. I'm like, that's what I want. That's, yeah. I wanna be a performer, entertainer. I don't gotcha. wanna just rap. You know, like I want to, I want to scoot around. I want to do the shit you do, my boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You talking about? So it yeah. was a, it was a good pair. It was a good matchup. Right. You know, and so for him to just be able to be like, we're gonna stop it in the middle of the show. I might not have had that power. Our team might not have had that power to just right. do that. But Diddy could. He said, Hey, we're gonna stop the show. I'm gonna tell them to dim the lights. You know, yeah. you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna do this, and then yeah. after you perform. We're going to present Mary J. Blige with an award. It was just like he composed that. Mm. So just imagine my first time on big screen, like on, on big TV, BT Awards. He said, yeah, turn down the lights down. We're going to make it, make it a little more sexy. Yeah, yeah, I like that. You know what time it is? Yeah. Now, here's the crazy part. The whole time at that BT Awards, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of our culture. I'm not afraid to say it. I... I I'll be around other artists and be like, man, I ain't fanning out, but I'm a fan. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Yeah. But I watched that night, act after act, that who I'm a fan of, and this crowd was not getting up, wasn't moving. It was just like everybody like, shit, these songs, they not old, but we know these songs. I don't know what it was, but it was like, I'm excited. But I'm like, why are people not excited? Yeah. So that started making me nervous. I was like, damn, I'm going to get up there. Nobody going to move for me. When that shit came on, and I stood nah. out there, and I seen the whole theater stand up. Yeah. And I was in L.A., and I'm looking at faces that I grew up. I'm like, oh, I have arrived. I was just going to yeah. say that. That, <laughs> was, oh, that shit, was your I arrived moment. Oh, that shit got real. But see, that's what I'm saying. That's the type of shit Diddy could do. You know, being on the Super Bowl, uh, some type of entertainment thing they was doing. He had the power. Man, what? I'm sitting here like... Yeah. This is crazy. I'm, what, what, I'm doing this, this kickoff in Miami. This is crazy. Even though I worked hard to get there, but mm. still, he was booked. Yeah. And he was like, and I'm going to make sure this is in place. So, you know, 
Come on, let's just be for real, man. The man. He took it to we, another we level. Made a, we took it to the next level. We made a lot of money.